Welcome to Wisdom from the Word. Bible Fellowship Church is a family of believers who want to help others discover and strengthen their relationship with Jesus Christ. And we're praying this message helps you strengthen your walk with Him. Now let's dive in. Good morning from Bible Fellowship Church. This is Wisdom from the Word. And today we're going to take a look at the scriptures and we're going to see what God tells us and what He teaches us about the Holy Spirit in our lives and how the Holy Spirit teaches us and leads us. So let's first go to uh, John 16, 13, and let's see what God tells us about the Holy Spirit in John. He says in 13, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. This is why I said the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. So Jesus is teaching us here that we are to rely on the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit will lead us into truth. And what is the Holy Spirit? That's the third part of the Trinity. That's God and the Spirit. That's Jesus. Uh, we have Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to us when we become a believer. And the Holy Spirit enters into our life. And the Holy Spirit starts to teach us in a way that we cannot, as a non-believer, have. Uh, Non-believers do not have the Holy Spirit. And let's, let's look at that for a minute. Uh, let's look in 2 Corinthians 4 three and four, verse three and four. But if in fact our gospel is veiled, it is to those who are perishing, regarding them, the God of this age has blinded their minds, okay, of the unbelievers, so they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. So when we are talking about the Holy Spirit as believers, it's an indwelling spirit that we have that comes to us when we become a believer in Jesus Christ. That spirit gives us strength and guides us and leads us and illumines the word, it gives us understanding and opens our mind to the things of Christ, which we do not have as a non-believer. So non-believers don't have the ability to understand the things of God. They have never accepted Christ and they have never received the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we want to, to think about uh, what happens when the Spirit of Truth comes. All right, it says when the Spirit of Truth comes, like we read before, He will guide you into all truth, for He will not speak on His own authority. So anything that does not agree with the authority of the Word of God is not from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to teach us from the truth. If it lines up with God's Word and lines up with the Bible and what Jesus taught, then it's from the Spirit. If it's not, if it has anything other than that, if it is, is it conflicts with that in any way, then it's not part of the Spirit. Okay, He speaks on His own authority, but whatever He hears, He will speak and will declare to you the things that are to come. So this was that, you know, the, the, the disciples, all right, in the New Testament before Acts, all right, they were men that were not filled by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit had not come yet. That occurred in Acts. When the Holy Spirit came after Jesus' death and the Holy Spirit came and, and came upon them, it opened their eyes immediately to see things that they could never see before because the Holy Spirit now was indwelling in them. So as Christians, we have that relationship with the Holy Spirit in us who is now guiding us and leading us. It says, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. And that is 1 Corinthians 2.12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God. The spirit who is from God is the Holy Spirit the spirit of the world is darkness and not uh, in any way in agreement with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the truth of God's word and, and only uh, is going to lead us in that direction. Uh, the Holy Spirit leads people where to go. As we said earlier, it's just uh, it's a leading, guiding, you know, illuminating, illuminating the truth to us and, and showing us and teaching us. 
It says in Acts 8, 27 and 29, and he rose and went, and there was an Ethiopian, a eunuch, a court official of Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who was in charge of all her treasure. He had to come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning, seated in his chariot, and he was reading the prophet Isaiah, and the spirit said to Philip, go over and join this chariot. So Philip the evangelist was guided by the spirit of God to preach the good news to the Ethiopians uh, and the Ethiopian eunuch, and this was in Acts 8.27. God guides us through by his spirit. We cannot understand the truth of the word of God unless the Holy Spirit is indwelling in us. The Holy Spirit cannot come and indwell in us until we accept the blood of Christ as payment for our sins. So as Christians and followers of Christ, when we make the decision and we accept Christ, we immediately have the Holy Spirit that enters into us and gives us the ability to understand things that the world cannot understand. So when you're talking to the world and you're, you're talking to other people who are not believers, just keep in mind that they cannot understand the things of Christ until they've accepted Christ, until the Holy Spirit has entered into their life. Our job as Christians is to share the gospel with the world, to share, to love God and to love other people and to share his word and his love throughout. The Holy Spirit will enter into that person's life once they make the decision to accept Christ for their sins. So our job is to get them to Jesus. Jesus takes over and he's the one that does the work. So uh, thank you so much for listening this morning. <clears throat> and just uh, please continue to uh, pray for Bible Fellowship Church and pray and ask God to continue to bless us and all of our ministries. And we thank you. Let's pray. Dear Father, we are grateful for this day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, that you, light, you lead us and you guide us. Uh, as we seek you by the power of your Holy Spirit, you work in our lives and it's by the shed blood of your son that we can boldly come before your throne of grace and talk to you and meet with you and have a relationship. God, we thank you for this day and we ask all these things in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Wisdom in the Word. If you're looking for additional resources to help strengthen your walk with Jesus Christ, visit bfcsebring.com or download our mobile app.